last days Imam Ali Salam is training 12,000 men who rijal become in the image of Imam Ali Salam, in the image of character, the khuluq, the, the love that Allah has for Imam Ali Salam, He dresses them with their chivalry, with the good character, the noble character, the noble character of youthful innocence and that responsible for raising these 12,000 of the horsemen for Imam Mahdi that he comes from Jabal Qaf and the times and the events of difficulty and there are the horsemen for the armies of Imam Mahdi that they ride a steed in which has an immense power and its movement is with the power of their thought. As they think and see the horse is moving in that direction and it's not a horse from this understanding of dunya but it's an immense steed and power from Allah from Allah's heavenly realms that for us to understand just a small understanding that this Jabal Kaf is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that the mountain of Kaf is the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad's heart and that our love and our ihtiram and respect allow us to be inhabitants of that realm, a realm that not easy to traverse, not readily available and begins within a hidden cave. And these ashiqeen and muhibeen that they took a path at the beginning of Muharram and they asked Allah to take away haram and that to take away what is forbidden from Allah and to live a life in which to sacrifice themselves. As they entered into Surat Al-Tawbah as the Qur'an will pull them into the heart and to the source of its location. It's located in the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and that he is the mountain of Allah and that from that mountain is coming Qaf al-Qur'an al-Majeed and every emanation, every power and every reality. And those who enter into that cave is a cave of unseen, a cave in which nothing manifests. They describe it in a realm of darkness in which it's a perfect state of rijal, that the perfect state of rijal in which it's an ocean of darkness and describe it as a realm that Prophet was describing to Imam Ali Salam. It's in a realm of immense darkness meaning that the inhabitants they enter a state of non-manifestation. That this journey into the cave is not a journey for people to bring their identity and their characteristics. We started at beginning of Muharram and the Muharram events and the example for Imam Hussain is that look to the field of Karbala and the Yawm al-Ashura and you'll all be like that. You'll all be like that, everyone will be in a state of Karbala. That this path is not a path in which to manifest, anything that manifests will be brought down, anything that manifests will be shattered, everything will become non-manifest. As we see now in dunya that in its binary state it's asking to appear, it has its last thrust of life before its death. Shaitan is quickly coming out and pushing people to manifest, manifest on their images, their homes, their cars, their properties, everything that they're trying to do to manifest. It's a last state of manifestation before Allah brings everything to be nothing. In that state of nothingness qashiyah means anything that's standing Allah brings it to be brought down. This Jabal Kaf is an ocean of darkness in which nothing manifests. Entering into the black, what they call black hole, the one that comes to annihilate everything. The Prophet is that state of akhfa in which annihilates 
everything, every light that manifesting becomes as if nothing in the presence and the journey of that is a ocean of darkness in which the servant is not manifesting and moving into those oceans of reality. And the state of those realities is just darkness, darkness, darkness in oceans of non-manifest. And the only manifestation is these lights of Muhammadun Rasulullah From that ocean of ishq and love where every goodness is hidden and every blessing is blessed and dressed. We pray that Imam Ali Salam to dress us and to bless us from that mountain that nothing manifests and when it manifests, it manifests with Allah's might and majesty. Means that everything comes with its existence, becomes nothing, enters into the oceans of fana and on the other side of this mountain into the light and the glory of Allah's Divinely cave of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad they become baqa, they become ever living and alive in Allah's lights and Allah's glories and Allah's blessings. From that qudra, from that power that that light and support to begin to enter into the earth and it was a reminder that this earth is now going to reach its phase of nothingness when Allah begin to crush everything and everything that manifesting will be brought down. The path is based on that understanding, the path is based on losing the character, losing the identity, losing the bad characteristics so that Allah replace with its glory, with his Divinely glory and make them to be rijal. And rijal in both men or women means mature in the way of Allah I mean this love for Asadullah and Qalib and this love for Futuwa and the way of chivalry, this logo that we put upon our heart from Ya Allah, Ya Muhammad, Ya Ali that Allah to perfect our faith, to grant us the chivalrous character and to be dressed by its nobility and blessed by its nobility. And that to prepare ourselves for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam and if we reach with our physicality to see the momentous days, alhamdulillah. And if we don't reach with our physicality that Allah keep our souls to be present, to serve with our souls and with our entire being for all of eternity in Allah's oceans of rida and satisfaction. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.